going on till you say that's it. What's up everybody? Happy New Year and welcome to the first video of 2018. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to DJ with just your laptop and your laptop alone. So no DJ equipment needed. Now for this tutorial, we're going to need three things. One is a laptop, obviously. Two is DJ software, which you can download legally or illegally. And three are a bunch of songs that you know in and out. Now with that said, let's begin. For this tutorial, we're going to use Rekordbox DJ. Now, DJ softwares in general already do the same thing, which is just play music. As long as your DJ software has an internal mixing section, then you should be good to go. Now, I currently have Rekordbox DJ opened in my laptop, and let's go set it up. So there are five steps. The first step is to display the mixer section. The second step is to set the crossfader curve to smooth by dragging the knob all the way to the left side. The third step is to make sure that the crossfader assigned section is set to deck 1 and deck 2. The fourth step is to position the crossfader to the first deck which is on the left side. And the fifth and final step is to activate quantize and beat sync on both decks. When it comes to the songs you're going to use, I highly suggest that you really, really know them. And what I mean by that is knowing how many beats the intro, chorus and outro are and knowing when and where to mix in and mix out. Now in our case, I've already labeled the songs that we're going to use. As you can see in the first song, we have three cue points, A, B, and C. From A to B, that is 16 beats. From B to C, that is 32 beats. And from C onwards, that is 16 beats. Here, let me show you. <laughs> Sipping on booze in the house of blues. It's the oh, 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 oh. Oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. Sipping on booze in the house of blues. Now, our next song is the same as well. 16 beat intro from A to B, 32 beats from B to C, which is basically the chorus section, and from C onwards, which is our outro section, that is also 16 beats. So when you're mixing these two songs together, it is ideal that you mix during the outro section of the current song with the intro section of the next song, so that you can mix them in together seamlessly. Speaking of mixing, let's go to the next section. So there are four steps to start mixing. The first step is to load the first song to the first deck and play it. This will now be known as your current song. The second step is to load the next song in the second deck, and this will now be known as your next song. The third step is to wait for the outro section of the current song. Once you reach it, play the next song. Now, the fourth step is to drag the crossfader from the current song to the next song. And now you've just mixed for the first time. To mix more, do steps 2 to 4, but this time alternating from deck 2 to 1 and vice versa. And congratulations, you have just DJed. But keep in mind that the songs we used here are songs that are edited. So we know that each song here has an intro and outro of 16 beats. But every song out there though has varying tempos and beat lengths for the intros, choruses, and outros. So remember, preparation is key when it comes to DJing with just your laptop. And that's it, you've reached the end of the video and now it's time to do the first giveaway of 2018. For this week, we're giving out a Rekordbox DJ hat. 
Oh, a Pioneer DJ booklet. Oh, and a Pioneer DJ notebook. Oh, sh I'm going to destroy this thing. Hopefully the frame is still okay. Now if you want to win those three fabulous prizes, you guys have to do four awesome things for me. Please. Like this video, comment your thoughts about this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and finally, click on the bell notification to stay updated with my future videos. Now the winner will be randomly picked and announced in next week's video of Hashtag Ask DJ Carlo, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, Thank you so much for watching guys and good luck to all of you. This video is made for beginners who simply want to try DJing but don't have the equipment to. In no way though am I saying that laptops and DJ softwares are better than the real thing. I'm simply trying to encourage beginners to pick up the hobby with what they currently have. Because not having DJ equipment is not a valid excuse to at least try DJing. So to the beginners who are watching, if you want to DJ for real, then invest in real DJ equipment and learn real DJ skills such as beat matching manually.